Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a fitness equipment review. This equipment is called the Wee Gym. Basically a set of resistance bands, but allows you to connect with an app to electronically track the workout with the bands, give you counts. They have different workouts in there, uh, follow along type workouts, and supposedly a bunch of other futuristic stuff. So the idea of this video is not to detour or promote you to buy this product. I'm not getting any sponsorship money or anything from this product, but it was given to me by a friend who wanted me to look into it and see if it was worth it, so I am. So we're gonna compare this setup to what would be typically typical resistance bands, and I'm gonna let you know if this is worth your money, if it's something you, if I would buy, and then you decide if it's worth your money, or just stick to the good old fashioned resistance bands and get about your way. All right, let's get started with this review. Now it was time to get to work with these bands and no, you just can't get to work with them. I had to bring the app up and find out how I was going to bind these because you have to bind them to your phone in order for them to communicate with the app to do whatever functions that WeGym has set up or enables you to have in this luxurious product. So I was going through the process in the app to try to find out how to bind them, got to the section where to bind, realized that it wasn't finding these. It kept scanning. It said scan failure. Why was there a scan failure? Well, I finally realized it was because the app did not have access or it was not granted access to my Bluetooth function. So once I enabled the app to have access to the Bluetooth functions, went back into the app, the app reset itself, went into scan for devices, realized that now it was scanning, it picked up these devices, which now I realize that there are two devices, not just one that it won't link to them simultaneously. You have to leak each individual device. So you link bind one, bind two. Now that I have these binded, is it time to work it? No, because now I have to back out, go into the app, find a workout that I wanna do, which I needed to find something that would at least give me some view in camera. I didn't wanna to be too far out of camera because yeah, the whole point is for you to see the video. So once I finally finished and found and got everything set up, I picked a nine minute workout and realized, no, I did not finish a whole nine minute workout because that's not what the whole point of the video is for me to do a workout. The point of the video is for me to do enough to understand if I actually or get some type of notion about the product. So I find a workout, get it set up, and then realize that, you know, I... Uh, the app is doing the follow along. It's talking to you, it's letting you know, and it takes you through a series of stretches before you work out, which I appreciated as a trainer, as a professional trainer, I appreciated that, but I it wasn't, these, these are not taxing. You should always stretch, warm up. That is what you should do for good practice. But I wasn't doing, these bands weren't offering the type of resistance where I was going to put my muscles under like excessive load, which is something that you also should consider. You have to adjust the resistance with these sliding this, this way or this way. And that means you're stuck within a certain range of a resistance. After that, you don't get a lot. So when I was doing the workout, the first workout as far as the uh, back portion, which I went ahead and skipped over the whole stretch portion, I was out of shot because I, in order to get a little bit more resistance, I had to step further away from the anchoring point. 
which if you're in a home gym type setting, you might not have a lot of space. You're working next to something you need to be attached to by either the door anchor or the suspension strap. So I really didn't appreciate that. And then outside of that, it just told me that these only offer so much resistance. It's not going to give you like 70 pounds of resistance. Like I have 70 pound resistance bands. You see me do other resistance band workout type on here reviews. These are probably the least amount of resistance I have aside from the green band. And most people know the green color band, the light green color band is the lightest band. I think that's what this is. So I started doing the uh, kneeling uh, exercises with the resistance band, and that was cool. And I realized that the app was tracking through a sine wave type uh, input. So if you don't know what sine wave is, sine wave curves, the top square wave is just that it is square wave, then it drops off. And I thought that was pretty cool, like just technology, because I'm a tech type person. And I, and I realized I thought that the app was tracking a rep count by the sine wave every time it peaked and dropped off that it knew that that's a rep you know it's getting tension and then when the tension falls therefore the person must be on the eccentric and it counts that as a rep so then i just stopped to see if it would still count if i did nothing and it did still count because i did nothing so then i lost like my whole wow factor went out the window because i realized that it's not using the sine wave like I thought it was to count reps. Maybe quite possibly like it gets a tempo and then it just goes off that tempo and just automates a count. But either way it go, I really kind of like lost my factor on there. And then I lost my interest in the product and I said, you know what, let me try this chest move because that's next. So it's a unilateral type chest move. We're working one side of the body. We're not working both limbs together, which would be bilateral. And um, I, I got into that and then realized that these kept hitting my shoulder. And every time they hit my shoulder, they were scooching back, which is decreasing the resistance on the bands. And that got on my nerves. So I tried for a couple of reps. And as you see, I fumbled around with it. And after that, I was just like, you know what? I'm done with them. Let's just go ahead and wrap it up. I'm happily going to give these. Matter of fact, let me turn these off. So they at least, oh, it looks like they timed out. So that's pretty cool. They have a timeout function evidently. So they timed out. I'm going to happily give these back to my buddy and tell him to have fun with his new technology bands. I just feel that there are, and the prices will be included in the links below. I will give you the links below for this product and the links for regular resistance bands, which are less expensive, more efficient, and I think good enough because you will have a wider range of resistance without doing all of this i felt like i spent more time doing adjustment and just getting all this stuff when like even if i had never used a set of regular resistance bands it would have been throw it over and get to work these are not throw it over and get to work there's a bunch of other stuff you got to do with them but maybe you're cool with it you can see like i said my whole point of this video is not to persuade you to or not do it's just to give you the information in my personal perspective and you take that and decide what you want to do for yourself look into the links look into the products see what you think go from there let me know if you bought them if you didn't buy them and if you did buy them let me know how they're working out for you so just we'll pick up on another video if you do need help with training Whatever that is, do have the app. You can go over to www.thatguyhealth.com. Pick your workout plan. I can work remotely. I have clients out nationwide. I have clients worldwide. Doesn't matter. And help you reach your fitness goals. All right? So be safe. Let's stick together. Peace.